Hey guys, welcome back to A Link to the Past Inverted Randomizer. We are no longer stuck in the Dark World, the Sacred Realm, the Dark Realm, whatever you want to call it, because we got the Moon Pearl in Palace 5 last time, so we will no longer be transformed into a bunny, or a pig in this case, in the Light World. We have had the hammer since the very first pickup. We've had the glove since the cave over there, so it's time to breach the Light World and go check all the hot item spots and hopefully resolve this heart issue, because then this game is going to be a joke. So yes, story-wise, I'm trying to think what this means. Because A Link to the Past is the first game in the Hero Defeated timeline. Under the assumption that Ganon won in Ocarina of Time and obtained the other two pieces of the Triforce. Wait a minute, that's a fairy up there. That's the Dark World hype cave, but the, the Light World one is down here. So we'll check that, then Ice Rod. There's Kakariko, we could drain the thing. Although, well, we can see how that works now. Because if I had the mirror, I could use it basically like right now and go back to the dark world as if it was the light world. Yeah, the whole thing with this game is there's the light world, which I don't even know what that is. I guess that's just the normal place, normal Hyrule. Then there was the sacred realm, which became the dark realm after Ganon obtained the Triforce and completely made it the dark world. Okay, that's good. The bug catching there, that would have been helpful. The flute! We still gotta activate that in Kakariko. Okay, not too bad. The flute we could activate when we get our way over there. So let's stick to the ice rod cave first. But yeah, I'm really trying to think about this. Because Ganon in this timeline is stuck in pig form because of what happened at the end of Ocarina of Time, right? It's like his last desperate move, and he can't, for some reason, become Ganondorf again. But he already got the Triforce, but he's trapped in the Dark World, which was the Sacred Realm, but now it's just his own manifestation of evil. So what more could he want, then? There is a seal that's preventing him from going to the Light World, but why would he want to if he already got the Triforce? That's what I'm confused about, unless I'm missing a piece of things here. Of course, he does crave power. Or do I have the light world all wrong? And what is the light world? Is that just Hyrule? And the sacred realm is like the Triforce home? <laughs> I don't know. I forget things. Well, yeah, that's useless. There's fairies over there. I could use one. So, we could check Palace 2, drain that. Get in the caves! Ah, crud! You know what? That's fine. That will be the last death. You just wait. Is it gonna start me in the dark world, though? Yes. That's how you avoid getting stuck, though. That's alright. We're right by the same warp. So nothing really lost. But I don't know. It's an interesting concept. Again, that's kind of why I was excited to play this going for the Master Sword as the end goal thing, playing as a Ganondorf stuck in the Dark World, because it does kind of go along with the Zelda timeline timeline in a way. I'm just... I don't know, there's a piece of the story that I'm missing here. And trying to figure out how it would work. Um, get out of here. Still need a sword, dude. We're bound to find one somewhere. There's so many spots to check in this light world. And here's the bomb shop. It's not Link's house in the light world. Don't have the boots, so we can't grab a fairy real quick up there. Go check with the flute kid. Why are they orange? Doesn't matter, you're done. There's somebody blowing leaves outside, so I apologize if you hear a giant whirring motor noise in the background. I don't know if it'll get picked up or not. But yeah, Aghanim! What's his role in this whole story? Actually, wait a minute, the flute kid... No, in the light world you need the shovel, that's right. Get away from me. Jeez. He gives you the item in the dark world, which was the hammer. But we need to find the shovel to do the light world part of his whole thing. Don't have the boots, can't get the book. But we could do the maze and then go to the mecca of treasure chests that is Kakariko Village, I would be shocked if we don't find a sword, or at least heart containers there, because there's so much. 
But yeah, I'm trying to think. Aghanim is basically Ganon's reach into the light world, right? Because he's trapped by the seal. He can't get there. I don't know. I don't know how it works. The Titans, man, dude, yes! Ten seconds. You can have this trash. This is far from trash, dear sir. It is the one item I'm most excited to get early in this game, whenever I play it vanilla, because then you could get the Tempered Sword early. And that's like my favorite part of A Link to the Past for some reason. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to rescue that little frog carpenter. And then I discovered you could do level four earlier than in linear fashion, and that's just great. Crap, I thought you could get to the back side of this. All right, the bar, we have a bottle, so we can check the bug catching kid, the chicken lady. There's so many things. Yes. Beautiful, finally, a heart. That's still nothing, though, with the green mail. All right, bug catching kid, be good to me. I'm not an evil person of power. I don't know. Yeah, really. Wait, did the sprite change because of the gloves? My arms are blue. They weren't blue before. Whatever. Burp, burp. Said the chicken. The boomerang! Yes, it's the weak one, but that's alright. Actually, that reminds me, I have the flippers. We could check Zora's fountain as well. Including the fairy there. Which is two treasure chests, I believe, in this thing. You don't throw anything in the pond anymore. Although, I think it still works with the bottle. Get out of here. I'll be calling nobody. This, too. And then Blinds Cave. This is the thing. That's why this randomizer is so easy when you do start in the light world. Unless you check something to make sure that nothing here, yes, has anything good. Oh, here we go. Hearts galore. This is it. This is... Ganon's revenge. It's coming. Yes! Look at this! A fighting chance at last. Now, just for the stupid sword. It's alright, there's still one, two, three, four, five chests to pick up right now. Is there something else in this village that I'm forgetting about? There's the little shed, but that's just for bombs in the early game when you don't have enough. What do we most want? The sword. What do we want next after that? We have both gloves. The boots, of course. Without Pegasus boots, this game is kind of slow. Crap. Yes! There's the boots! Ten arrows. Now we have 20. That's good. Another heart. And 300 rupees, okay. Well, we have plenty of money for Zora's River. That's the next kid me fan favorite thing to do is go by the witch's potion shop. Wait, speaking of that, the Lost Woods. Which is the end game, but I don't have the pendant, so... Uh, there's nothing... Wait, 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 yes, there is. And then we could activate the flute. Weird that you still have to activate it in here, though. Well, nah, I guess it makes sense, because where else would you do it? In front of Blind's Fortress? What is this bird's name? And does he come back in Link's Awakening? Because isn't that the sequel to this? In timeline... fashion, I guess? Alright, well... Let's take a look. Okay, the two pendants are in the light world. The red one is in the dark world. We discovered that already, though. Man, that's easy. Those two dungeons are a joke. And then the eastern palace has one of the special crystals for getting the big bomb. One of the best songs in all of Zelda right here. We want it to be the sword. That works too. I got all the hearts now. Almost a full row. 
That's right. That'd be funny if the sword is in here. Since it's where the Master Sword is supposed to be. But the mushroom. And then we go to the witch's uh, shop. Another heart! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Yes. There will be death no more. I like that very much. Alright, let's not start with the singing. If that's what we even call whatever that was. Um... Death Mountain? That has stuff too, like the old man. The lumberjacks, but they're not active yet because we didn't defeat what's his face. I have the boots. Wait, I can smash this thing, and then there's the sanctuary, then there's the graves. There's all this is the thing. The light world is nuts in this game. I like it though, it's just like how I enjoy games these days. Another heart! Holy crap! I told you it was gonna be good once I, whenever we got here. Still no mirror though, and no sword. Let's go kidnap Zelda. If she's in here. I don't think they change anything but Link's model. Yeah. Nothing happens. Crap. Although, you know what? I should have waited to come in here because we come in here anyway. After dropping down the one grave. And then what's next? Then is Zora's River after we cover this. So we could just go up here. Wait a minute. I'm stupid. I just got this glove. Going the long way that doesn't even work. Is this? No, this is Hyrule. Another awesome song. One of my favorite, if not my favorite ever Zelda song. Although I like the Farewell Hyrule King version too in Wind Waker. Yeah, I hear rats. Stupid bugs. I had a bug encounter last night that was terrifying and horrible. A map. A key. There's the mirror! Yes! Okay. We are no longer locked. The world is our oyster. I never understood what that phrase means, and it's weird. But yeah, on hot nights, after it kind of rained or whatever, or if it's just humid out, bugs appear. And they enter the house, where they're not supposed to be. And they're mutated in size because they've recently dined on mutagen or something. What's up, Zelda? Do you actually do your role? You do. I guess they have faith in Ganondorf. Like when he pledges allegiance to the king. In that one cutscene. With his giant nose that's bigger than the rest of them. Alright, magic cape. That's right. Invulnerability frames while airborne. The Cane of Burna, okay. That opens up the actual Cane of Burna cave. So now on to, that's just, wait a minute, wait a minute. The Chris Houlihan room. So we go up here and we mirror, right? Wait. This is so weird using the mirror in the light world. Huh? That's a cool little design, though, for the portal. Wait! This is a landscape change, right? That bridge is not supposed to be there. That's there in the dark world. So this was an edit. There is something in here, right? Besides the Chris Houlihan thing, which I don't even remember. Isn't it a select number of cartridges that have that? Or something? Or it was like a limited? I don't know. Well, it's crap anyway. Yes, bombs. So yeah, I guess this is our first example of an edit of the landscape, because that staircase is in the dark world, and then you mirror to get into here. Hmm. Man, we could even check the Eastern Palace or whatever, which... I think I said that before in re referring to the Desert Palace. I got them mixed up. But that's what I was going to say earlier, too. One thing I greatly enjoy about this game, you could complain that it's too fast and easy in a randomizer because of the light world plethora of chests. 
But I also like that, too. This is back-to-back -back nonstop. So you get in and get done, and it's good. I wish I had the mushroom. I love going into that little witch's shop. It's one of my favorite places in A Link to the Past. I don't know what it is, but the number of blue potions... I want to see that statistic when I die. I want somebody to come up to me with a giant checklist and be like, Okay, well, in A Link to the Past, your total tally of blue potions bought was this in your entire lifetime. I'd just be curious about that. And then they say, because of that, you're going to hell, son. Like, All right, thank you. Sorry that I saw. But this is what was on my mind ever since I got the flippers. The sword! Yes! It's time to wreck this game, even though it's just a puny thing. Oh, it feels so good to have that, finally. And we have the boots. We have all the things. Look at the hearts. We got a full row. The next one is, uh, below. Let's go pay the dude. This is like Ganon's rise to power. A conquest. The blue mail! Get out of the way, Zora. I'm still confused about that, though. Why would Ganondorf, or Ganon, or both, ever want to be back in the light world after obtaining the Triforce? The only thing I could think is that he's sealed, and he would just want revenge. Bombos! That's a good one to get, too. And we have a sword now, so we can actually use it. Because I believe, without a sword, you can't use those things. I remember that from some time in the past. Blue mail, what happens now? We turn extra blue and brown. Wait, did anything change? Something changed. Yeah, his cape is different. That's my favorite male, too. I know the red male is stronger, which is funny to me because it's the opposite order of Ocarina of Time. I always go on about that. Okay, so we could check the Eastern Palace, Sahashrola, and his three chests. We could whistle to the, the desert and do that cave. We could check the ledge. We could check Misery Mire by going in the warp. So actually... Wait, what? Oh, the flute works in the dark world. That's so weird. Okay. Um, so we could mirror and then flute? <laughs> this is so messed up. I like it, though. Also, Ganondorf looks like Ellawood from what? Whoa, I thought I was going to warp back. From Final Fantasy VII with that blue cape and the red hair. That's so weird. Wait, what are the warps here? Oh, it's the same thing. It's just the dark world map. Well, wait, how does that work in Misery Mire, then? Um... If it doesn't work, we could do Death Mountain, we could go to five. I'm suddenly very confused just by this inverted flip of things. I want to go to the desert, though, and the swamp. Let's do it, see what happens. So if we jump... Oh, okay. That's another landscape change, right? Because that's not there normally. No, it's definitely not. Well, all right, there's the two chests in here. The ledge is in the light world. What is the medallion? If it's Bombos, that would be crazy. No, it's Aether, Aether, whatever it is. Look at that, two hearts of damage still with the blue mail. Um, we go like this. The ice rod and the cane of Samaria. Holy crap, what a nice little cave this is. We're ready to kick butt, dude. I like that cane because you could use it instead of statues in some places. Now, the thing that I was talking about way in the beginning, the example that came to mind, this. This is where you would mirror and then lift the rock. But the mirror doesn't work because this is... This is our light world. So how the heck... My only escape now is the flute, not the mirror. This cave is just a guy who takes your money. Well, wait, what if I go back... to six? 
could go to five and do that stuff, but I'm very curious about this cave. We didn't even mess with seven, which is palace two. Sorry, I think on the map screen for too long. But yeah, this will take us to the light world. And now we're here. Bombs on the ledge. Okay, that's useless. We don't have the book. There's this cave, which you get normally too. This had power bombs one time in that uh, crossover one I did. Maybe both times. I almost have every key item. I don't want to talk to Sahashal. Well, I kind of do. He doesn't give you anything, right? Or does he heal you? I would take a heal. 50 rupees, okay. That's at least two. No, I could get three blue potions. I once had a fish dinner. I still remember it to this day. <laughs> hey, fish dinners are good. I could go for one. There's a lot of people who hate seafood. I'm not one of those people, but there are some things that I hate, like any kind of shellfish. So if we mirror up here, maybe... Wait, what? Is this just it? Okay, that's weird. They just removed a mountainside, so you just walk up to this then. Wait, why do I forget how to do this? this is, I don't want to botch this up. There we go. I don't think you can botch up this puzzle. Yes! That's amazing! The blue male and this many hearts. I swear if I die again, I will smack my head against a wall and never talk to you again. And you might enjoy that. No. Yeah, that's so weird. And wait, this is where I gotta use the flute, right? Is there any reason to go back to the light world? We can't do the purple chest business. Actually, yes we can. We have the glove now. We can go to that. I don't know, I'm all kinds of confused. Let's, um, go to five. And then... Light world, and we know a pendant is here. That cave is a fairy, right? So we could do the dungeon, but probably before that... Should go check in with the dude and his treasure behind him. Do I really want to do a dungeon, though, already this late into an episode? I don't know. There's still more Light World Overworld things. Want something free? Go earn the green pendant in the Tower of Hera. That's right, that's where that one was. That's right, we didn't even check Death Mountain stuff. There's a whole, there's a giant cave system there that typically gives you everything you need to beat the game. Wow, what a waste that was. Although, I do wonder where the bow is and the silver arrows. Getting those, it's basically game over. I don't even need a sword beyond this level one sword. So, what we want to do is flute, but we can't flute, so we have to mirror. Unless, what do we buy? We're by the bridge, the bottle bridge. So that could be the next stop. That goes near the Queen of Fairies, which I forget how they edited that. I think everything is done in a way to save your time, so you don't have to throw rupees in the pond anymore. Um, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm all kinds of turned around for some reason. Yes, this is where I want to be. Although in the light world, we have to go all the way down. Oh yeah, then there's the mountain in Lake Hylia too. How do you say that word? I know there's an official pronunciation, but you think Hylian, so it would be Hylia, right? Or Hylia? Hylia, yeah. See, that's the thing. I always said Lake Hylia as a kid. God, I'm adding all these syllables there that don't need to be there. 
And then I know people who said Helio, but that's definitely wrong. It has to be wrong. Don't tell me it's right. There's dogs. Alright, dude. Making deals with the hobo under the bridge. Yeah, it's a piece of heart, alright. It's probably not a hobo. It looks like a nice spot to sleep. But I don't know, the underside of bridges is kind of grimy. So, how did they edit this mountain, though, is my next question. Because this is something you need to mirror from the Dark World to get to. Oh, they just add a thing, okay. And it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Stairs? The sword is almost foreign to me. I paused for a second because I was thinking I needed the hammer again to defeat that guy. But no more. So this has nothing in it but fairies. We could catch some fairies. And I'm just curious to see how they edited this. It's been a while. I think the last one I played... Oh. Well, okay. We could get one more round of that. That was quick. Definitely better than throwing the rupees 20 at a time, or 5 at a time, whatever it is. That's really all we need. Let's catch some fairies and get one, too. It's weird to me that this one is called Venus, the Queen of Fairies, but then it's an identical sprite everywhere else and they're nameless. Actually, the only fairy that's different is that one that looks like Shrek's wife. In the pyramid. Her name is probably Helga. She looks like a Helga. Uh, what's left? We could drain the thing. Any whirlpools? Death Mountain. Actually, there's a lot. If we go to Death Mountain, this episode's gonna take forever. It's already up there. So maybe Death Mountain could be a next time thing, but there's still stuff right here we could check real quick. I think. Crap. What sword can you charge right through them? Is it the tempered sword? Or do you need the full sword, the butter one? I think they call it the gold sword, but it's a stick of butter. And the tempered sword is Cheetos. How does this work? Well, we could mirror still. That doesn't affect inside. Yes, that Japanese-only glitch. And then we just get the item. We don't have to do any Dark World shenanigans. So how would it work to enter the dungeon, though? We would need... to use the warp? I don't know. I'm kind of confused. Turned around again. There we go. A heart. Beyond here is the guy who opens the chest, which we don't have. Uh, we could go up here, the flute kid. Get out of my way. The flute kid we did something with. We Oh wait no, he we need the shovel, that's right. What wait, what? UT or YT. Weird. This is another edit. You could just walk up here. Because normally you would have to mirror from the dark world. <laughs> another one, dude. This is nuts. And we know two of the dungeons. I don't, I don't remember where the red one was. What dungeon has that? But well, we basically have two of the easiest dungeons. Actually, yes, they are the two easiest dungeons. This guy, if you play the flute for him... Oh, that's right, he turns into the tree, but they already did it for you. Whoops. Oh yeah, that's right, the bird. Uh... Well? Where is this thing? Oh wow, it's Turtle Rock! Okay, so we do have the hardest dungeon in the game to do still. 
Okay. So what's next? If we go back to the light world, is there anything... Just trying to think, before Death Mountain, is there anything left unchecked? That's just a quick pickup thing. Wait a minute. Hyrule Castle and the uncle. So... The uncle, how does he work? I think it depends on what settings you picked. There is a setting where he's guaranteed to give you a sword or one of the canes, I think. I remember reading something like that. But I'm pretty sure this is not the setting that that applies to. We already have both canes. I'm not going in that warp if it is a warp. No, not yet. Not until Aghanim's defeated. And that I can't do because I don't have the Master Sword. Not true, I have the cape. I could do it. But it's not him. Ganon is under Hyrule Castle. Hmm. Bombs, okay. Actually, I don't know how that works. How do you get to Ganon in this inverted world? Because Ganon's tower, I think, is still the d dungeon Ganon's tower. Same with Aghanim's castle. So where is the new hole for Ganondorf? Or Ganon, there's no dwarf in this game. I don't know. Let's do this real quick, why not? We get to hear the awesome song one last time. And it's very quick, so it's not gonna take too long. Whoops, went too far. Let's see how many chests are in here. They got the boomerang chest, the map, Zelda's chest. Yeah, it's quick enough. Let's just do it. Although I don't have the lamp yet, so the dark section... I do have the fire rod, though, and I do remember reading... That was a bee in a bottle, I think. I remember reading in... There's two settings. There's basic and advanced, or simple and advanced or something, in terms of shuffling the items. And it defaults to advanced, and that's what I have here. And in that setting, some rooms that are dark and have torches are considered doable with the fire rod, even though you can't see without the lamp. So it is possible that this castle I'm expected to go through, even though I don't have the lamp. I believe, unless I misinterpreted something. It's so nice having the boomerang too. I don't know, though. The cape! There we go! That's right, I didn't have the cape. Why did I think I had the cape already? I got it confused with the cane, that's what it was. Or because we went into the cape gravestone, too. But that was the other cane. The cane of Berna was in there. I don't know. <laughs> My brain is all kinds of confused. So, after this, it's just that dark part that I'm talking about that requires the lamp. The baby shield! Well, we have a shield now. Yeah, we're definitely ready. Look at all the hearts we have, the blue mail, the sword, so many items. The two easiest dungeons that we can complete at any moment. We'll probably take a pass up Death Mountain first. And then Turtle Rock. We don't know what medallion Turtle Rock needs, though. And I only have Bombos. Whoops. Yeah, that could be a problem if I don't have the right medallion. That could be anywhere. But at least probably next time we could complete those two required dungeons that have the pendants. It's just Turtle Rock is the big question. But that's at least two dungeons worth of treasure chests that could have the other two medallions, and then there's nothing to worry about. But either way... Oh, bosses are random too, by the way. We just haven't fought one yet. Because it just crossed my mind that the only biggest challenge left then 
would be Turtle Rock's vanilla boss. What's that thing's name? Trihex or something? Or is that the Palace of Darkness? Trinex. Trinex, that's what it is. Yeah, I don't have to- I can't do this. I could try, but... I think that's an episode right there, so next time we'll do everything I just said. So see you then.